What is going on my friends? Vitae Dubin is here and welcome back to another episode of today's in crypto show. The crypto markets are still boring. We are in a bear market and to make things even worse, we have seen one of the biggest exploits in DeFi in all crypto that caused the Binance Smart Chain to be completely halted for many, many hours. So this is crazy. I want to talk about that. I want to share with you my view on the current state of the market. And yes, we also will talk about McDonald's start to accept Bitcoin. So stay tuned and let's get started. The market is still floundering $945 billion. Uh, Bitcoin is still around $19,500. I mean, looking at the charts, not much is going on in the market. It's pretty boring. After we got rejected from this bear flag on the weekly, you can see right here, uh, we got a breakdown and then we got rejected. Uh, we fell down, but we didn't fall below the previous all time low in the last couple of years, right? The, the lowest point of 17 and a half thousand. And we are hanging in there, hanging in there. <laughs> okay. But uh, we can see some uh, weeks coming up right here. Rejection about 20,500. 20, so the market is kind of shaky right now and everybody's waiting where it is going to go um, for the markets. The traders are not really jumping too quickly into the trades and looking what Bitcoin is going to do next. And Bitcoin always tend to surprise everyone. <laughs> I do tend to, to, to more on the upside uh, bias, yeah, but right now there is not much bullishness going on in the market, to be honest with you, yeah. Uh, among all of these recessions and the war and everything else that is going on, the, the dollar is still in this channel going upwards and essentially uh, we have an inverse correlation between the dollar uh, currency index, DXY, and Bitcoin and crypto markets when dollar goes up. Bitcoin and crypto goes down. So still we have quite a strong uh, dollar and we are in this channel and we are we're not falling too much. So the biggest news of the day is that Binance Smart Chain, which is huge chain <laughs> right after Ethereum, halted over potential exploit, a hundred million dollar taken off chain, a hundred million dollar hack. In fact, it was around six hundred million dollar uh, hack more than half a billion dollars were two million bit uh, BNB were minted out of the one of the bridges out of thin air and the attacker the hacker tried to as fast as possible to move into different protocols to different chains and <clears throat> the reaction on that from Binance was to pause and hold um, essentially the entire blockchain the entire network which is kind of crazy uh which puts again a question mark about how decentralized really the binance smart chain is if they are able to hold just like that the entire network nobody can do anything no deposits no withdrawals no trading no token transfers i mean crazy crazy um what ended up happening is that roughly $110 million were taken off of the exchange. Um, they were able to conserve about 400, save about $460 million uh, because a lot of uh, BNB uh, after the pause was still on the Binance Smart Chain. Um, so overall, if you look at how Binance reacted to this attack. Uh, they were uh, working as fast as they could and saved as much money as they could. Um, so good job for them. Uh, but overall, overall, we can see that they can essentially pause the entire network if they want to, uh, which makes a question if some government will come in and they want to shut them down or they want to pause the Binance Smart Chain network, uh, they are actually able to do it. So you can see there is no decentralized Binance Smart Chain because if it's truly decentralized, 
then there is no way to just pause the blockchain uh, from from running yeah um, which can tell you about the nature of uh, the decentralized layer one blockchains that do have the control at such emergency cases to to hold the entire network so that was of course sad news for the crypto space uh, a lot of disruption on all the binance smart chain protocols and the hacker got away with around 110 million dollars so not a good day for binance and not a good day for um the crypto space uh looking at what fidelity is a huge uh trillion dollar a hedge fund company revealed a $5 million Ethereum index funds that flew, uh, flew in all this uh, sales of this new Ethereum index fund. And this asset manager, which has $4.5 trillion on its book, registered its Fidelity Ethereum index funds on Tuesday. A lot of the corporations are looking at Fidelity also. So um, overall, that's uh, good for ethereum in particular and it's good for the crypto markets um we have a, another big news that elon musk is actually set to uh revive his 44 billion dollar twitter bid that he refused to to buy twitter before now it's coming back on the table and speculations and rumors are said that what's going to happen and when Elon Musk is going to take over Twitter and buy Twitter, how Twitter is going to look like, what is going to be different, what will change, yeah. Uh, what will happen to Twitter after the world's richest man, Elon Musk, is going to take control over it? Well, one set of crypto enthusiasts, of course, say that Dogecoin to the moon <laughs> is going to be able to pump the price of Dogecoin on his Twitter platform, etc. Uh, but overall, there might be some changes in the in how Twitter functions. So keep that in mind. We have good news coming from Namibia. Namibia, Namibia central bank says Bitcoin can be accepted as payment. Uh, further legalizing in some country following the El Salvador uh, the legalization of Bitcoin, which is pretty cool, pretty cool. We we're starting with the small states, small countries, and hopefully it will uh, go over to the bigger countries as well. We see McDonald's starting to accept Bitcoin and Tether in one of the towns, the town of Lugano. It's not overall in McDonald's, but they're testing right now accepting Bitcoin and Tether in McDonald's. So think about that coming up in the future with the ability to use your crypto in chains like mcdonald's chains and overall around the world it's already a reality there are already solutions how you can use your crypto overall um, just like that very very easily now uh, we have a fifth edition of the fastest growing blockchain a future blockchain summit there's going to be a lot a lot of exhibitors there uh more than three uh, 130 more than 100 speakers more than 100,000 visitors and it's going to be absolutely amazing uh seven specialized events i'm actually going to the future blockchain summit yeah there's others here but i'm, I'm focused on the future blockchain summit and um in particular, I uh, really like that we're going to have a Ultron Layer 1 blockchain today. The fastest growing uh, Layer 1 blockchain is one of the sponsors of the event. And if you arrive there uh, to Dubai, you'll be able to actually meet all the C-level um, founders and and the team behind ultron which i really like this project this layer one uh blockchain so there you go and um uh ultron is is showing a stable growth uh, despite all of this bearishness currently 10.3 million dollar tvl on their dex ultron swap so 
uh, looking forward for their next deployments of the borrowing and lending protocol um, and uh, the metaverse launch and the biggest crypto lottery uh, where people can win more than one million dollars every single day it's going to be absolutely amazing so that's what i wanted to share with you guys today i hope you have a fantastic friday and um do not pay attention to too much of the bearishness and the bearish news because right now is an amazing time to be in crypto to buy bitcoin to buy the major coins to essentially be in the market because the market may not stay that bearish for very long yeah i personally anticipate between 6 to 12 months of this bearishness of consolidation of prices going maybe a little bit higher but not too much and then we are going to be uh, finally starting starting the bull market uh, which will go into the 2025 so the time to get ready is right now and that's what i wish you guys